short stories, and we'll get to the issue of the book uh, shortly. All right. My father did not take the fact that I wanted to go into entertainment lightly at all. That didn't find it funny. In fact, to say he wasn't impressed, my sister said, hmm. <laughs> That's my other sister, Mojo. He said, hmm. To say that he wasn't impressed was, or is an understatement. My father did not understand it and he didn't like it. Because you see, he had come up from our village, Ajawa, in uh, Ogbomosho area of Oyo State. And by dint of his own hard work and struggles and God's grace, he had brought himself to Lagos and was now successful. So now that he had waited many years to have children and he finally had these children, that according to him, like he told us all the time, he sent to the best schools. How can you show up after all this time? I say you want to do entertainment. In his words, can you go pala pala, you know? What is all this pala pala, you know? And, oh. <laughs> there were many things that happened where he showed his eye and his, you know, his annoyance at that fact. But uh, one day, Ali Baba had sent me to stand in for him at an event at Golden Gate Restaurant Nikoi. In those days, there were a few comedians and even fewer still capable MCs. So Ali was always constantly overbooked. And sometimes, due to no fault of his, events would clash. Some people would postpone their event and choose a date of another event that he had collected money for. And we have a rule in the comedy industry. Uh, it's best encapsulated in a Yoruba saying, Olele, toba wonu eko. Once you pay us your money, you are not getting it. Especially when it is not our fault that you postponed the event. So on the day Ali was called away to Abuja, Obasanjo had, not become, had just become enamored of him at that time. This was in the early 2000s. So Ali sent me to do the event. Ali used to send basket mouth and I or both. In those days, phones were few and far between. So Ali would send us to go and represent him. Conveniently, forgetting to tell the owners of the event that he was sending us and conveniently forgetting to tell us that he didn't tell them. So Baskermas and I will show up and the party went something like the party went something like that. Where's Ali Baba? Sorry, sir. He sent us. He sent you. Lock them up. Lock them up. And so we'll start to beg. I, I'll never forget Saraki's inauguration. Bukola Saraki's inauguration 2003. I think it was in Ilori. Ali Baba sent Baskermas and I. Baskermas pushed me forward. Tell you, you know, say I use Sabi you know, say you be at your I'll go talk to them. They told CSO, lock them up. We, we said, no, please. We, we don't know. We didn't negotiate. We don't even know how much you paid him. Look, let us just do the thing. If at the end, you, you can lock Ali Baba up. He's coming to Lagos day after tomorrow. If you don't know, we know his house address and his office. We'll give you. Just let us do. And because they had no choice, then they will say, okay, let them. And so we would. And I guess that is why Ali Baba sent us. He knew that if they ever allowed us near the microphone, we will do so well that they would be so impressed that they could not turn around to ask him for their money again. So it was to one of such events he sent me to in Golden Gate. I will never forget that it was for the Kakawa discount house. Then it was some end of year thing. So I went on the day, event started at 11, I mean at 7. I did my best to rush this event. Eventually about 10.30 a.m., I mean p.m. rather, they finished. In between trying to get away from the organizer of the event and all that, I hit Lord Melan Bridge about to 11. Speeding for my life, headed to our house in Shogunle. Because my curfew was 10. I finally got home around past 11. And so I caught the light from my car. And I rolled the car. Because to enter our house, there was an, uh, you know, it went I slope. Hoping daddy would not find out. I rolled the car. And as I just started to open the gate, the light in the balcony upstairs came on. And a voice boomed out. I'll translate. Translation. Who is that? Not there. Who is that there? To which I replied, A minister. It is I. And the classic response came back. Allah, ninja, a mini. Alone, can enjoy me. <laughs> Translation Only God is I am. What do you mean is I? Iwatani. To which I reply, Hey, me, hey, me, bad day, one, one, sir. Forget all this, Teju, you hear. Teju is something I gave to you people. Teju is my second name. At home, I am bad day, one, one, 
and I am called in full. A mini body will know Lani, sir. It is I, but one other. Ibolo Simbon die. Where are you coming from? Eh, Moloche, I went to do an event. Ali Baba on the balcony. My neighbors were listening. Ali Baba, Lo Rami Loche event. Go back to where you're coming from. I did not send you to the best schools to, to be a comedian. If you like, you can be an Alue. You can be a Baba Sefa. You can be an Ali Mama. Don't be an Ibaba. Be an Ali Mama. <laughs> and so he shut the door and went back inside. And I knew my mom was in for it. Because my father was the typical African man. If the boy is good, daddy's boy. If the boy is not so good, mommy's boy. So I saw the light in my mom's room go on. I said, I'll teach you. <laughs> so I got into the car and I drove with my friend Tunde Koiki, who had followed me to the event, to his own parents' house in uh, Ojodu, Bega. Where I passed the night. Now I tell you this to show you the kind of attitude and response that existed between my father and I on the issue of my doing entertainment. So it was that anything he had to say concerning my entertainment career, I didn't want to hear. And for that reason, I almost missed what would probably be the greatest career lesson, and life lesson, in fact, in my life, because it was God that, it was my father that God used. 